Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. In this video, we're going to look at the movement strategies that EQ Ascom uses to position the mount. And specifically, in this particular tutorial, we're going to look at movement with mount limits off. And as you can see, I've already got EQ Ascom connected, and I'm at the home position. I've got a little video image here of my actual mount. Uh, it's not great quality, but it's good enough for the uh, purposes of this demonstration. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to move the mount to a counterweights up parking position uh, that I previously previously defined. That one. Okay, so we're about to move there now. Now what, now what happens is the right ascension and declination axis will both move simultaneously. But as soon as the right ascension axis hits the horizontal position, i.e. the counterweight bar is horizontal, it will stop and the declination axis will continue to its target declination. Let's see that happening now. When that has reached where it needs to go, the right ascension axis will then slew to the final right ascension target. And that's what's happening there. Parked. Now what that means is that for positions where the counterweight bar is, or the counterweights are up, only movement in right ascension ever occurs. Uh, so this makes it a lot easier for you to find your parking positions and you know how that parking position will be approached by the mount. It will always be approached in right ascension only. Okay, if I now park the mount back to the home position, we can see the thing happened in reverse. So what's going to happen now is, because we're in a counterweights up position, the first movement will always be in right ascension. So it will move this right ascension axis up until the counterweight bar is horizontal. It will then move the right ascension and declination axis uh, simultaneously until it gets to the home position. So here we go. Let's see that happen. So here goes the right ascension movement only. And once we get there, we now have the simultaneous movement, which takes it to our home position. Right, I'm now going to move to another counterweights up position, but this time on the other side. I first got to unpark the mount. Unparked. And now park it again. Parking. So as before, the initial movement from this position, because we were above horizontal, is in right ascension and declination simultaneously. And that will continue until the right ascension axis reaches the horizontal, horizontal point. In which case it will stop. The declination axis, if it needs to keep moving, it will keep moving at that point. That's what it's going to do now. So the declina declination axis will now move to its target declination. And when it gets there, the right ascension will move to its target. Parked. 
Okay. Now the final demonstration I'm going to show Unparked. is a movement back to the original counterweights up parking position. So we're moving from one counterweights up position to another. So initially the movement will be in right ascension only. When that has got to the horizontal position, right ascension and declination will move simultaneously until right, asc uh, right ascension hits the other horizontal position, in which case it will stop, declination will continue to its target, and then right ascension will complete its move to its target. Let's see that happen then. Parking. So here goes the right ascension axis only to horizontal. Now, both right ascension and declination will move. And this will continue until the right ascension hits the horizontal position over here, at which point it will stop. The declination will continue to run to its target position. So here we go, the right ascension is now stopping. The declination is now continuing to its target. And once it gets there, the right ascension will complete its movement. Parked. Okay, so hopefully you now understand how EQ Ascom will move your mount when the counterweight when when the target is a counterweight up position. Now I've used park positions for this. If you were using a uh, a flipped go to the same kind of movement would occur. And the purpose of it is to ensure that any movement where the counterweight bar is above the horizontal is always made only in right ascension. Okay, that concludes this demonstration.